know that our poet tonight is named Evgeny Yevtushenko. He's from Moscow, grew up in Moscow, but actually was born in a little town in Siberia, about the size of the Grand Forks, called Zima, response to Zima, Zima Junction, Zima is Russian word for winter, which is a concept you are all acquainted with in North Dakota. And it's right in the middle of Siberia, across the Ural Mountains, go a couple thousand miles out toward Lake Vatel and get a cool and that's where you are. I'm hoping that Mr. Yevgeny will find Grand Forks enough like home that he will bring them back today and have to buy a dodge here here in the summer to work. <laughs> Next time, of course, I want to take the train. <laughs> With Mr. Yevgeny is a longtime friend, associate, translator, Professor Albert Todd from Queens College. Flushing, New York, who's a professor of Slavic languages. Professor Todd will read in English the poetry that Mr. Yevtushenko will read to you tonight in Russian. I think that's enough for me. Let's start going. Stage, from the stage, but afterwards we could, we could talk about, okay? 
because in, I don't think we do the most often Russian poets, poets visit your country. Okay, so we will read different poems in different years, some old poems when I was of your age, and recent ones. Sorry for my a very old poem, Sleep, My Beloved. The salty spray glistens on the fence, the wicked gate is bolted tight, and the sea, smoking and heaving and scooping the dikes, has sucked into itself the salty sun. Sleep, my beloved, don't torment my soul. Already the mountains and the steppe are falling asleep. And our lame dog, shaggy and sleepy, lies down and licks his salty chain. And the branches are murmuring, and the waves are trampling, and the dog and his day are on the chain. And I say to you, whispering, and then half whispering, and then quite silently, sleep, my beloved. Sleep, my beloved. Forget that we quarreled. Imagine we're waking, everything is fresh. We're lying in the hay, we sleepy heads. Part of the dream is the scent of sour cream from somewhere below, from the south. Oh, how can they make you imagine all of this? You, so mistrustful. Sleep, my beloved. Smile in your dream. Put away your tears, go and gather flowers, and wonder where to put them burying your face in them. Are you muttering? Tired, perhaps, of tossing and turning. Muffle yourself up in your dream. Wrap yourself in it. In your dream, you can do whatever you want. All that we mutter about, if we don't sleep, it's reckless not to sleep. It's even a crime. All that is latent cries out from the depths. It is difficult for your eyes, so much crowded into them, it will be easier for them under closed eyelids. Sleep, my beloved. What is it makes you sleepless? Is it the roaring sea, the sighing of the trees, evil forebodings, someone's dishonesty, and maybe not someone's, but simply my own? Sleep, my beloved, nothing can be done about it. But no, I'm innocent of that accusation. Forgive me, do you hear? Love me, do you hear? Even if in your dream, even if only in your dream, sleep, my beloved. We are on the earth flying savagely along, threatening to explode, and we have to embrace so we won't fall down. But if we do fall, we shall fall together. Sleep, my beloved. Don't nurse a grudge. Let dreams settle softly in your eyes. It's so difficult to fall asleep on this earth. And yet, do you hear, beloved? Sleep. And the branches are murmuring. And the waves are trampling. And the dog and his day are on the chain. I say to you, whispering, and then have whispering, and then quite silently, sleep, my beloved. So in Russian, this poem, you will see the difference. It's written with many internal rhymes some alliterations. So, Kant is saved this translation, but unfortunately, music is completely capable. But it's something that's a little bit important for poetry. I hope you have a few different. So, sleep, my beloved, in Russian, ruby, my beloved, spi, sleep. Соленые брызги блестят на заборе. Калитка уже на 
sapore e muore de me as e de ma e de mares e da um pedaço de a salome solta sassava se da lúbima spi meu duxo nem muti o já se separa de cor e este Пёс наш хромучий, лохматок дремучий, Ложится и лежит соленую цепь, И море всем топота, И ветви всем ропота, И всем своим опытом пёс на цепи. А я тебе шёпота, Завернись и окутайся им. Во сне можно делать все то, что захочется, Все то, что бормочется, и если не спи, Не спать безрассудно и даже подсудно, Ведь все, что подспудно, кричит в глубине. Причина бессонницы, ревущий мой, Деревьев мольба, дурные предчувствия, Чья-то бессовестность, а может не чья-то, А просто моя любимая, спи. Ничего не попишешь, но знаешь, Что не винен я в этой вине. Прости меня, слышишь? Люби меня, слышишь, хотя во сне, хотя во сне, любима, спи. Мы на шаре земном, свирепо летящим, грозящим сорваться. Ты обид не копи, пусть соники тихо в глаза заселятся. Так тяжко на этой земле засыпается. И все-таки слышишь, люби, спи, и море все то. Всем ропотом и всем своим опытом пес на цепи, а я тебе шепотом, потом пол шепотом, потом уже молча.
for long ago I was smashed. There on my broken bones a dragonfly sits relaxing. And ants come calmly to visit in my empty former eyes. I have become a ghost. I've gone from my body. I slipped out of the medley of bones. But I've had it among the ghosts. I'm drawn again to so many abysses. A beloved ghost is more frightening than a corpse. But you were not frightened and understood. And together we leaped as though into an abyss. The gaping abyss stretched out white wings and lifted us on mist. And you and I lay not on a bed, but on the mist that held us just barely. I am a ghost. I won't break anymore. But you're alive. I fear for you. Again the raven with funeral hues circles about and waits for fresh fare, as on a field of battle. The last attempt to become happy. The last attempt to love.
обращаясь к вечному магниту, Час, когда в душе моей низки, Я всегда шепчу одну молитву, Господи, прости и помоги. Turning to the eternal magnet in the pitch dark night of my soul, I whisper my only prayer. Oh Lord, forgive me, help me. And the Lord forgives and helps. However, helplessly he shrugs at man's prolonged ingratitude for his many mercies. Clearly, his people frighten God. Call him by any name you choose. Jehovah, Buddha, Allah. He is one. He is alone. And tired of being God. If he could dematerialize or shrink in his scale to a pocket idol, he'd gladly slip away and hide from our slapper in a private corner. But it's not right for him to hide or stoop like an African slave. God also wants to believe in God. But there is no God in the world for God. And when neglectful of our obligations, we stick him with our rotten little petitions. <laughs> to whom shall he address his prayer? Oh Lord, forgive me, help me. Well, I like 
only one of these two wild kids was born. And probably it was kind of shadow of jealousy between them when they both were alive or something like that. And the, the one who survived probably after only after his dark gray brother was killed. Yes, we didn't have 
given one serious quarrel. If we are good, our life example for all Americans and Russians. <laughs> my tough, great brother in Russia, Sizi, my brother. С крови из клюва, тёпел рибок, шеи мотая по краю ведра, Гусь покачивается, как слиток чуть черноватого серебра. Двое летели они вдоль вилюя, первый уложен в лёд, Russian word. But pil, 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 which 
absolutely the same short words in the same rhythm. That's test. That's a wonderful translation. Both they made that sort of test, so that's, you know, that's faithful at the same time, a little bit unfaithful later. Uh, but it's great translation. So, <laughs> so uh, first time in all my life I have my own name in the list of translators. It's not lies. A little bit exaggeration, but really I participated in it because we worked hard together with Bert, with Nina Buiz and some translations, trying to find the equivalent. And for instance, I wrote one, some of my poems are uh, written in Siberian Argo and Siberian slang. And so it's very difficult, but it's possible. For instance, I just will read for people who study the Russian uh, just one stanza from this poem. You will immediately, you professors, especially you understand how difficult to translate it. Because it's associated in the rhythm, very, it's kind of in the rhythm of Siberian Limerick, but it's not so called, not so too jolly poem. It's a very sad poem, but it's just tragedy wrapped into form. Um, in Russian, it sounds beginning like this. Algan, it's a Siberian gold prospector's river, like Klondike, Yukon, or something like that. So in Russian, the beginning sounds like this. Dalagajdan nachika, Algan nachika, Smotri, Gost, Irishagan. На плече ее города начка, а в любом стволе шага. So we made one arrogant attempt to transform form of Soviet Limerick into form of some Limerick from the Klondike view. Of course, go. Well done, girl. Well done, girl. Look at me. Who am I? A guest. A thief from the wildest west. So ragged is my west. I just try to do my best. <laughs> In her hand, a hunter's gun. Watch your step, you hold. She checked me out, I'm a guest, yet with her eyes, still one request. She scrapped the moss with her boots, as she was trying to find my roots. She is as graceful as a sable, not to love her, I'm quite unable. <laughs> From Woodcock, Scissors, she made a fun. Come, my lovely, we'll have some fun. Signorita from Siberia, sitting softly on the porch, brushing off those courting mosquitoes, tasting blood as so hot porsche. <laughs> and her mosquito net mantilla trembles cautiously on guard. So I am silent and boyish. And old Siberian bard. I construct with my clumsy fingers a hand-rolled butt from last year's news. I choke with words, so I am trying to share this her my wordless views. I'm almost reached the end, my dear. All addresses I forgot, I returned to the shadow of your eyelashes from Buenos Aires. Oh, my God. One who's born to family houses is happy now in just a Pen, my thoughts inflamed in tears and collapsing to save now I don't attempt. I am not one of those tip grabbers. Not 
don't want of those sliders, but don't open your door, which squeaks so softly, else I'll burn out your blameless heart. Who am I? What kind of creature? A full disaster looking for cattle. I didn't fall from a pink cloud. I am out of pits and puddles. I am a walking tree. I am a walking foreign tree. I tease the other lying foreign trees. I am tasty to some men's wives and to some men's friendly knives. I'm from those special hobos. I'm hobbling inside myself, in my own bird cage, encaged. And my guts are my bed shelf. So many sucking slumps inside me, so many uncuttable jumps. But something blue and defenseless. Flowers, whispers, bundles. All my life such a mess, my honey. All I've done, a false kind of bliss. But I'm made from forget-me-nots. I can't forget a single kiss. Please, believe me, the cry. I destroyed everything that's done, but I will never unlove anyone. I will never unlove anyone. Even white flowers are dying. I am white, but to die is not clever. Love is only love. It, love is not only love. It's something. Love is also unloving, never. You are so beautiful now. Oh, done girl. Well done girl. In your blue. Like a queen straight behind you glide. Floated to the room and 
dance invitingly in the air. Indispensable as any mangy ghost in tattered, overplayed stage rags. And if even the ghosts are capricious, I swear they're no more capricious than those who are alive. Indispensable in its babbling boredom are the deadly fear of uttering the right words and the fear of shaving because across your cheekbone graveyard grass already grows. It is indispensable to be sleeplessly delirious, to fail, to leap into emptiness. Probably only in despair is it possible to speak all the truth to this age. It is indispensable after throwing out dirty drafts to explode yourself and crawl before ridicule. Reassemble your shattered hands from fingers that roll under the dresser. Indispensable is the cowardice to be cruel and the observation of the small mercies. When a step towards falsely high goals makes the trampled stars squeal out, it's indispensable with a misfit's hunger to gnaw a verb right down to the bone. Only one who is by nature from the naked poor is neither naked nor poor before fastidious eternity. And if from out of the dirt you become a prince, but without principles, unprince yourself and consider how much less dirt there was before when you were in the real, pure dirt. Our self-esteem is such baseness. The Creator raises to the heights only those who with tiny movements tremble with the fear of uncertainty. Better to cut open your veins with a can opener, to lie like a wino on a spit-spattered bench in the park, than to come to that very comfortable belief in your own special significance. Blessed is the madcap artist who smashes his sculpture with relish, hungry and cold, but free from degrading belief in himself. Да и 
сообразие. Насколько меньше раньше было грязи, когда ты по-настоящей был грязи. Какая низость самоуважения создатель поднимает до высот лишь тех, кого при крошечном движении основан неуверенность трясет. Уж лучше вскрыть ножом консервы верные вещи. Забудыгай в парке на скамью, Чем докатиться до комфорта веры В особую значительность свою. Благословен художник сумасбродный Своей скульптуры смаку раздравя. Голодный и холодный, но свободный от веры. Superiority 
doesn't creep inside. I would not like to be in the elite, nor of course in the cowardly herd, nor a guard dog of that herd, nor a shepherd sheltered by that herd.
very wonderful faces. I, I think Bernie Bradley said such an innocence there, but I have to tell you just a bit about this poem. In the terrible days of World War II, when the Nazi armies occupied much of the Soviet Union, the Jewish people were gathered in the suburbs near a ravine called Babi Yar, and others were also to be gathered and told to bring their clothing and minimum necessities for travel to relocation. And there, uh, at the edge of the ravine, there were machine guns, some 70,000 plus. Babi Yar. The monument stands over Babi Yar. I drop shears and hoof and crazy stone. I am afraid. Today I am as old in years as all the Jewish people. Now I seem to be a Jew. Here I plod through ancient Egypt. Here I perish, crucified on a cross. And to this day I bear the scars and nails. I seem to be Dreyfus. The Philistine is both informer and judge. I'm behind bars, beset on every side, hounded, spat on, slandered, squealing dainty ladies in flounced Brussels lace stick their parasols into my face. I seem to be then a young boy in Bialystok. Blood runs, spilling over the floors, the barroom rabble rousers give off a stench of vodka and onion. A boot kicks me aside, helpless. In vain, I plead with these pogrom bullies while they jeer and shout, Beat the years, save Russia. Some great marketeer rapes my mother. Oh, my Russian people, I know you are international to the core, but those with unclean hands have often made a mockery of your purest name. How vile these anti-Semites. Without a qualm, they pompously call themselves the Union of the Russian People. I seem to be Anne Frank, transparent as a branch in April, and I love we have no need of praises. My need is that we gaze into each other, how little we can see or smell. We're denied the leaves, we're denied the sky, yet we can do so much. Tenderly embrace each other in a darkened room. They're coming here. Be not afraid, those are the booming sounds of spring. Spring is coming here. Come then to me. But give me your lips. Are they smashing down the door? No, it's the ice cracking. The wild grasses rustle over Baba Yar. The trees look ominous like judges. Here all things scream silently. And burying my head, I slowly feel myself turning gray. And I myself am one massive, soundless scream. Above the thousand, thousand buried here, I am each old man, here shot dead. I am every child, here shot dead. Nothing in me shall ever forget. The International, let it thunder when the last anti-Semite on earth is buried forever. In my blood, there is no Jewish blood. In their callous rage, all anti-Semites must hate me now as a Jew. For that reason, I am a true Russian.
and submit in. Alone, if you please, we shall weather it under the sky, even if savagely bent and twisted, without your moral support. Of course you command more freedom, but for all that, our roots are more strong. Of course we don't dwell in Paris, but we are valued more in the tundra. We are dwarf birches. We have cleverly made up our poses, all this is largely pretense. Constraint bears the form of rebellion. We believe that down forever, eternal frost can't last. Its horror will yield. Our right to stand upright will come. Should the climate change, move our branches at once, grow the shapes that are free. Yet, we're now used to being made. This worries and worries us. But we dig in like splinters. We dwarf merchants.
city of No. My nerves are strained like wires between the city of No and the city of Yes. Everything is deadly. Everyone frightened in the city of No. It's like a study furnished with dejection. In it, every object is frowning, withholding something. And every portrait looks out suspiciously. Every morning, it's parquet floors are polished with bile. Its sofas are made of falsehood. Its walls of misfortune. You'll get lots of good advice in it. You can bet on it. But not a bunch of flowers. Typewriters are chattering a carbon copy answer. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> and when the lights go out all together, the ghosts begin their gloomy ballet. You'll get a ticket to leave. Why, hell you will. To leave the black town of no. But in the town of yes, why, it's like the song of a thrush. This town's without walls, just like a nest. Sky is asking you to take any star you like in your hand. Lips ask for yours without any shame. Softly murmuring all of that nonsense. And in no one is there even a trace of suspicion. Bowing herds are offering their young. Daisies teasing are asking to be picked. And wherever you want to be, you're instantly there taking any train or plane or ship that you like. And water, thank you, murmuring, whispers through the years, yes, 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 yes. To tell the truth, the snag is, it's a bit boring at times. <laughs> to be given so much almost without any effort in that shining, multicolored city of yes. Better let me be tossed around to the end of my days. Between the city of yes and the city of no, let my nerves be strained like waters between the city of no and the city of yes. Молоко предлагают стада, 
И сорвать с себя бросит, дразня, резида. И куда ты захочешь, мгновенно туда. Унесут поезда, самолеты, суда. И журча, как года, чуть ли печет вода. Да-да-да. Только скучно по правде сказать, Иногда, что дается мне столько, Совсем без труда, В разноцветно светящемся городе. Да, пусть уж лучше мечусь До конца моих лет Между городом да и городом нет. Пусть уж нервы, Натянутый, как провода, между городом нет. И городом да. Last 
Thank you. 